Are you ready to travel abroad? CPS students can do just that through No Matter What, a nonprofit helping Chicago's youth reach their highest potential no matter what. Joining us now to chat details is James Moulter, culinary arts teacher at Christian Finger Academy High School, and Alexandra Colcratty, a student who went abroad last year through the program. James and Alexandra, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Okay, so James, let's start with you. So tell us first about this program. So No Matter What is a program that kind of subsidizes what we're missing for our students right now. CPS and our schools can do so much, but there's so much that we're not giving our students yeah. that they could get on the outside of that. So we kind of pick up the slack with that. More culinary programs, more outreach programs. Now we're doing agricultural with the garden. Uh, now we have projects for a new community building. There's a ton of stuff in the works. Love that. Now, how important is it for students to have this more world view growing up? Well, I mean, most of our students, especially on the west and south sides, don't get a view of outside of Chicago in general. So, I mean, just going to the airport, you're with tons of people. Then traveling abroad, you get to see that there's something else that you can reach for. Because if you never saw it before, you're not going to reach for it. So it gives that opportunity to see a whole new world. Okay, so Alexander, we got to bring you into this conversation because you actually, you know, participated in this program. So tell us what grade you're in and tell us where you went. Um, I'm a senior in high school. We went to London and Ireland, <gasps> Dublin. Oh. oh my goodness. So what was that like for you? It was very exciting. It felt like something out of a movie. Like, it was like, I felt like it wasn't something that, that I'll experience as a um, teenager in high school, especially as a junior who hasn't been nowhere um, out of the country. Yeah, so was this your first, first time out of the country, you said? Yeah. Okay, was this uh, your first time on such a long flight? Uh, yes. Yeah, and, and then what was your favorite thing about the trip? Uh, my favorite thing, um, in, uh, in Ireland, I, we went to Hearth. It was very fun. It felt like, a, like both Hearth and the Camden Market, it felt like an outdoor mall, a outdoor mall, and I really liked it. I mean, the best thing about traveling is then when you come back, don't you see the world in a totally different way? Yes. Like, the people there, they was like, they was very different from the people here. They had very different um, customs, and it was exciting to experience that. And this question is for both of you. I understand that the food was a little bit different depending on the places you visited. Uh, London uh, versus Dublin, uh, who is better food? Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> that was too quick. What was, so, what was so good about the food there? I felt like the food, it was more like, it was like something that I'll eat here more okay. than something I'll eat out there. Like London, the food was good, but at the same time it was very different and it was hard to like get a taste for the food. Mm. And James, let's ask you, like how, how is it to see sort of the transformation, like before the kids actually travel uh, and then afterwards? I mean, it must open up a world of possibilities. It does. I mean, just seeing it in the kids, they don't know what to expect as they're going over and then you kind of see that shock when they're over there, <laughs> right? And everyone has to stop, take a second, absorb, but that's, that's what we're going there for. They're seeing everything that they're not seeing over by us, you know. Gotcha. And James, next time around, destination Rome. But in order to get there, you got to raise money. Can you talk to us about that process? Yeah, so we are trying to take just as many kids from a couple schools to Rome this summer. And we're raising money through our fundraiser, which is March 17th. For no matter what, uh, we have our students cook a bunch of the food. They pick a different country. And we pick a couple dishes and toss them around have them serve to people and hopefully get some money for the trip. <laughs> so Alexandra, are you going to stay in the culinary world? Like what are your aspirations in terms of like, I know you're very young, so you have plenty <laughs> of time to change your mind many times, but at the moment right now, I want to be a, sur a cardiac surgeon. Oh, wow. But, okay. Yeah. My goodness. That's so impressive. Yeah. But culinary is something I'm really interested in because I started I started the um, class last year because yeah. my school recently opened up the class again. And at first, it wasn't something that I was interested in. I just really wanted to cook and eat. But now that I've got <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, now that I've got into it, it's very interesting. And no matter what, you know, even if you follow the career path of being a surgeon, I mean, being able to cook for yourself, those are skills that yes. you could take with you Most the rest definitely. of your life, right? And to feed your family. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Of course, supporting, you can support their cause by going to the 15th Annual Culinary Futures Fundraiser. That's on Sunday, March 17th. To support them, learn more 
about the OM Summer Travel Experience, head to the No Matter What website, nomatterwhatchicago.org. Thank you both.